hello everyone and welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing good i am sumit and for today's video i have this apple's usb super drive with me this is basically a dvd rom slash dvd writer by apple and on the box there's an apple logo right there and there's also an image uh, that shows us how to connect your super drive to the mac and how to insert the dvd or disc any disc inside it and on this side of the box uh, there's the model number written on the top and designed by apple in california and right here it's written compatible with mac systems without a built-in optical drive this super drive retailed at around 7000 to 8000 rupees in india now after opening the box we can see the drive right there i'll just pull it out and show you all the things that came with it so it has this uh, usb type a connector with it so if you want to use it with newer macbooks you'll have to buy a separate dongle a usb type c to type a converter with it then only you can use it there are there is some paperwork with it maybe the warranty guide and the setup guide usb super drive written on it so basically this is these are basically the instructions to you know how to connect it uh, with your macbook um, the second one here is for the warranty uh, it's written apple one year limited warranty on apple products so let's just look at the super drive itself uh, let me peel off the plastic basically this is the bottom part of the super drive and the aluminium part goes on the top so you have to place this side on the desk or whatever you are working on so it is a nice matte finish on the bottom part and a really good aluminium finish on the top and this is where the uh, disc goes in you just have to push the disc in uh, the build quality really feels premium and this circular thing you see on the bottom is basically to keep your uh, super drive steady when you're using it on your disk so that it doesn't move too much when you're inserting or ejecting your disk now let me just grab my macbook and give you guys a demo of how this thing works with it uh, all you have to do is just plug in the super drives usb to your laptop's usb port so mine got a dedicated USB Type-A port because this is a 2015 MacBook Pro so I don't have to buy a dongle. Now after you plugged in your super drive you'll notice that there's no uh, DVD ROM or any icon in the MacBook because we haven't yet inserted any D uh, CD or DVD in the super drive so I'll just grab this high school musical 2 uh, CD and just insert it in the super drive and let's see if anything shows up on the Mac okay we'll just have to wait for a couple of seconds for the super drive to read the disk okay so now we can see a disk icon right there in the locations area and the disk is labeled as untitled so when we click it we can see all the contents of the disk there's a movie right there so now we know that this thing works and now I'll show uh, I'll just eject it and show you how to burn DVDs or CDs with it okay so now with this disc ejected uh, I'll just you know grab a blank DVD and see how fast it is on burning DVDs so this one right here is a Moser bear 4.7 gigabytes DVD 4x compatible so the maximum speed uh, in which we can write on it is 4x so basically these uh, DVD drives can go up to 12 or even 16x speed I'll just insert it and we'll just have to wait for a few seconds for the super drive to read this disk okay now a pop-up just appeared on the screen and on this pop-up it's written that you have inserted a blank DVD choose an action from the pop-up menu or click ignore I'll just click on OK and you'll see a DVD disk right there and the name of the disk and there's a burn button to burn your data on the disk now I'm going to burn a video file on this disk and see how much time it takes uh, so this is 
the file right here uh, test file dot mp4 just copy and paste it in your blank dvd and click on the burn button so to, you can choose the speed so maximum possible speed for this disk is 4x and you can name the disk i'll just you know name it as test dvd and after that you have to just click on the burn button then the burning process will start this will take some time so i will just speed up this process for you guys Now finally the burning process got completed and it took around 7 minutes and 14 seconds to burn a video file of around 650 megabytes. You can just see the file that I burned right there. And we can also burn more files to this disk just like we burned this file right there. Uh, because there's still around 4 gigabytes of storage left on this disk right now. For now I'll just click on the eject button to remove this disk. So this is the disk that we just burned with the super drive. I'll just put it back into its case. And also I would like to tell you that this product has been discontinued by Apple. So you may not get a new one from any store right now. But you can still get an old or used one. They all work the same. So guys I'll just end this video right here. If you enjoyed it please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and if you have any query regarding this please write into the comment box thank you